Albert Einstein say it best. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. So how old is our observable universe? What is a galaxy? What is dark matter? These are some big cosmic queries that we will try to answer in this video among many others. By the way, the data in this video is largely inspired from nasa.gov website and the animation are just for vision and learning purposes and do not reflect all the realities and complexities of these big questions. So please take them with a grain of salt. First question, how old is the universe? The universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. The Hubble Space Telescope uses the universe's expansion rate to determine its age. Hubble calculate this rate by measuring the distances between nearby galaxies. This is like measuring the speed of a car and how far it has gone to find out how long it has been driving. Next question, how big is the universe? We can observe only a portion of the entire universe because the universe is only about 13.8 billion years old. Light has only had about 13.8 billion years to travel through it. Although the observable universe is finite, the entire universe is probably much larger. It could even extend indefinitely in all directions. Next question, in what sense is the universe expanding? Although we see galaxies moving away from us in all directions, this does not mean that our galaxy is in the center of some sort of explosion. Observers in other galaxies would see the same thing. It only means that the space between all galaxies is growing larger. Next question, what is dark matter? Dark matter is invisible matter that makes up roughly 80% of the mass of the universe. It does not interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation, so it cannot be seen directly. It is detected by measuring its gravitational effects. For example, the cosmos would fly apart due to the outward pressure of dark energy if not for the gravity provided by dark matter's tremendous mass. Scientists think it may be an elusive kind of subatomic particles that outnumbers number matter particles by 5 to 1. Next question, what is a black hole? A black hole is a region of space packed with so much matter that its own gravity prevents anything from escaping, even light. Black holes can form when massive stars run out of fuel and collapse under their own weight, creating such strong gravity that they disappear from view. Although completely invisible, a black hole exerts a gravitational pull on surrounding matter. Next question, what is dark energy? Dark energy is a repulsive force, an unknown form of energy throughout space that is accelerating the expansion of the universe. Dark energy was discovered in 1998 by two teams of astronomers and the Hubble Space Telescope played a critical role in that discovery. This acceleration is thought to have begun about 5 billion years ago. Next question, how is a black hole created? We can talk about two kinds of black holes, stellar black holes and supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes form when the center of a very massive dying star collapses in upon itself. This collapse may also cause a supernova or an exploding star that blasts the outer part of the star into space. If the core remaining after the supernova is very massive, gravity completely collapses the core into a black hole with infinite density. Supermassive black holes form at the same time as the galaxy in which they reside. They are thought to have grown from seeds from the earliest massive stars. The size of the supermassive black hole is related to the size and mass of its host galaxy. And to learn more about our solar system and other big questions about the universe, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned on what's next. You can check my courses, the Amazon Leadership Principle course, or a brief introduction about America course, links in the description below. Next question, what are gravitational waves? Gravitational waves are invisible ripple in the fabric of space-time. They are caused by some of the most violent and energetic events in the universe. This includes colliding black holes, collapsing stellar cores, and merging neutron stars. Gravitational waves travel at the speed of light, squeezing and stretching anything in their path. In his general theory of relativity, Albert Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves. In 1916, his calculations showed that 
massive accelerating object could disrupt and distort space-time like waves moving away from a stone thrown into a pond. The first gravitational wave signal was detected in September 2015. Next question, what is a galaxy? A galaxy is an enormous collection of gas, dust, and billions of stars held together by gravity. One galaxy can have hundreds of billions of stars and be as large as 100,000 light years across. Next question, where are we in the Milky Way galaxy? Our own galaxy is called the Milky Way galaxy. Our solar system is at the edge of a spiral arm called the Orion arm and is about two thirds of the way from the center of our galaxy to the edge of the starlight. And the Earth is the third planet from the sun in our solar system. Next question, what is our closest galaxy? The closest spiral galaxy is Andromeda, a galaxy much like our own Milky Way galaxy. It is 2.2 million light years away from us. Andromeda is approaching our galaxy at a rate of 670,000 miles per hour or 1.1 billion kilometers per hour and scientists predict that it will collide with our Milky Way galaxy about 5 billion years from now. Next question, how old is our solar system? Our solar system is about 4.6 billion years old. Next question, what is an asteroid? Asteroids are small, rocky objects that orbit the sun like the planets, but they are much smaller. Most live in the main asteroid belt, a region between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Next question, what is a comet? Comets are the solar system's dirty snowballs, small bodies of frozen gases and water ice in which dust particles and rocky materials are embedded. A comet has a solid nucleus, usually around half a mile to six miles or one to 10 kilometers across. They orbit the sun much like the planet, except that comets usually swing very far from the sun and then very close to it in each orbit. Next question, what are globular star Clusters. A globular star cluster is a collection of up to 1 million stars that all share the same origin. The globular clusters associated with our Milky Way galaxy are typically composed of old stars more than 10 billion years old, and the Hubble Space Telescope pictures of other galaxies sometimes reveal globular-like clusters containing young stars that are less than 50 million years old. Next question, what is a supernova? Supernova is the explosive death of a star, which unleashes a burst of light throughout the cosmos. In 1987, a supernova observed in the nearby large Magellanic Cloud and irregular galaxy neighboring our Milky Way galaxy was the first one visible to the eye since 1604. And the Hubble Space Telescope was not yet in orbit when the explosion was observed, but it has since made dramatic observation of the expanding gaseous remains of that star. Although supernovas are rare in our galaxy, there are many galaxies and the Hubble Space Telescope has observed stellar explosions elsewhere in the universe. So these are top 15 cosmic queries questions that we have answered in this video. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.